gram of fat provides 9 calories per gram, while carbohydrates and proteins provide 4 calories. But what about our alcoholic? They get 7 calories per gram from alcohol. Now, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going over energy sources for humankind. If this piques your interest, stick around. Energy might be the single most important issue for the human race to solve in the upcoming decades. We're first going to discuss how we as humans get energy in the form of food, and then get into fuels we as humans use to power our lives. There are three main categories that most humans get their energy from. A fourth, if you're an alcoholic, which are carbohydrates, fats, and protein. However, regardless of the category, they're all converted into acetyl-CoA by your body, and this is the molecule that your body uses to produce the energy that heats your body and allows you to move. The difference between the carbohydrates, fats, and protein is their energy density. Similarly to how methane, the main component in natural gas, produces approximately three times the amount of energy per mole than hydrogen does, a gram of fat provides 9 calories per gram, while carbohydrates and proteins provide 4 calories. But what about our alcoholic? They get 7 calories per gram from alcohol, now onto the fuel that powers our lives. There are five main sources of fuels that humans use for energy. They are nuclear, renewable, petroleum, coal, and natural gas. To get a better grip on their utilization, let's look at a rough estimate of their use in the United States by percentages. Nuclear energy, used almost exclusively for electric power generation, accounts for about 8 to 10 percent. Renewable energy consisting of biomass, hydroelectric, wind, solar, and geothermal energy contributes to 12 to 14 percent. Petroleum, used mainly for transportation, accounts for approximately 35 to 37 percent. Coal, used mainly for electricity generation, accounts for about 12 to 10 percent. Lastly, natural gas, used for heating and power generation, accounts for about 32 to 34 percent. We'll be going over through each of these more in depth in the upcoming units, and I have a couple of shorts out now or coming out soon that go into nuclear fission and fusion in much more depth. I hope these explanations help. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask. And if you found value in this video, please like it and let people know about the channel because it really does help spread the knowledge. Based on what you learned, think about the following question. Calculate the percentage of calories that come from fat, protein, and carbohydrates from one Oreo that has 3.5 grams of fat, 10.5 grams of carbohydrates, and 0 grams of protein. Thank you so much for spending your valuable time learning and bettering yourself. If you like the video and want to learn more, donate, or get tutoring, please check out my website, nocollegeneeded.org. You can use the code NCN for 20% off tutoring and any supplemental materials. If the subject isn't up yet, please be patient. I'm working on bringing them up as soon as I can.